Hello and welcome to Polytronic Converter Design and Simulation Lecture. Today we are going to design and simulate 3 phase closed loop active rectifier. This is a power circuit of the active rectifier which includes the great LCL filter, the 3 phase active rectifier, DC link, and the load. Active rectification or synchronous rectification is a technique for improving the efficiency of rectification by replacing diode with an active control switch such as power IGBT or power MOSFET. And the primary application of the rectifier is to convert the DC power to AC1. The control structure for the three pairs rectifier. For implementation, the controller we need to sense the three phase grid voltage, the three phase inverter current, and the output DC voltage. This rectifier has two controller loops the voltage outer loop and the current inner loop. In the voltage loop, the output DC voltage compares with the reference voltage to get the error, and then the error sent to PI controller to generate the reference current. ID and the reference current IQ set to zero. In the current loop, the reference current ID and IQ compare with the actual inverter current ID and IQ to get the error. And then the error sent to PI controller to generate the reference voltage VD and VQ. The generated reference VD and VQ compare to ABC signal and then send to PWM generator to generate the controller signal for the three phase rectifier. Design the closed loop active rectifier is based on designing the rectifier LCL filter, designing the controller and a very important thing is we have to know the specification of the rectifier before starting the design. Our rectifier specification are the input voltage 450 line to line voltage, the output voltage 800 volt, the power capacity 100 kilowatt, or the operating frequency 50 hertz, and the switching frequency 10 kilohertz. Design the rectifier is similar to designing the inverter, and I did it before in my previous lecture. Designing the active rectifier controller. We have two loop controller. Ferris, the voltage loop controller. Designing the design is based on this formula. If we select the time constant to 200 microseconds, then Kp equal 1.5 and Ka, Ki equal to 300. Second, the current loop controller. The design is based on this formula. If the time constant equal to 150 microseconds, then Kp equal to 10 and Ki equal to 400. Now let's go to MATLAB Simulink to do this. In my previous lectures, I simulate the grid connected inverter. I have already modified it and its controller to make it active rectifier. Now I'm going to explain how I built the active rectifier and its controller step by step.
Now run the simulation and see the result. Now run the simulation and see the result. Now change the reference voltage from 700 to 800 and see the controller response. Thank you all for watching, that is all for today.